Dick Parsons. Now, Dick Parsons used to be the CEO of Time Warner. And he's he's now reruns something called Providence Equity Partners. And he was on CNBC's Squawk Box this morning talking about the government shutdown. Joe Kernan said there are a lot of Republicans that don't want to give anything to the president. And the president, you can almost see his revulsion to even dealing with a lot of people on the other side of the aisle. I mean, Dick, this is really, really bad out there. There's a new breed of politician. I think a lot of the uh, highly conservative element that's come in, they're actually anti-democratic, not right. anti-democrat. It's like the will of the people or the will of the majority is no longer relevant. It's relevant what I want and what my constituents want. And that stems from the fact, you see, that Obama won the election. And the people like Parsons and these guys... Well, that's the will of the people speaking. I mean, the vast majority of people spoke and they elected Obama. The people on our side don't think that's what happened. Yeah, Obama won the election, but we don't think it was a madcap endorsement of Obama. There were four million Republicans that didn't show up because they weren't happy with the nominee. There were four million Republicans that didn't show up because they're dissatisfied with the Republican Party. And they simply wanted to let it be known. Uh, but even so, you know, even when Bush... One, I don't remember the Democrats or Dick Parsons sitting around saying, well, you know, Bush won and uh, gets whatever he wants. Well, you know, Bush won. I guess he gets his Supreme Court nominees, whoever he wants. You know, Bush won. He wants to go to Iraq. We need to support him. Oh, you know, Bush won. Uh, we need to go along with the, the, the tax cuts for the rich that Bush has authored because that's what's going to needed to be needed to get the economy. They didn't go for any of that. In fact... They started running around whining about the tyranny of the majority. I'll never forget Harry Reid and Nancy Pelosi every day on the floor of the Senate and the floor of the House, practically crying about the tyranny of the majority and and, and how the, the rights of the minority need to be heard. The rights of the minority need to be respected. The minority needs to have power. They were just crying and moaning about it. But now here comes old Dick Parsons, and because people that didn't vote for Obama just don't want to sit by and let all this anti-American stuff be enacted, why, they're anti-democratic. They want to ignore the will of the people. It's always a one-way street with these people. By the way, you might be interested in knowing Dick Morris, or Dick, Dick Parsons, currently sits on the board of the Commission on Presidential Debates. So this is one of the guys that's going to be deciding the format, the guests, the moderators of the 2016 presidential debates. His wife is a community activist. So he himself is a hardcore leftist. And I don't remember Dick Parsons ever sitting around telling his people, you know, Bush won. We need to support the pres- the will of the majority spoken. We're in the minority. I don't remember them ever. All they have ever tried to do is undermine. Now, I, I want to. Uh, who was against stimulus? Oh, I know that. I know none of Obama's policies have ever been popular. The majority opposes stimulus. A majority opposes Obamacare. A majority opposes most everything he's doing. But he does win the election, and we all know why. We all know why. It's a matter of race and the fact that that silences the opposition. It literally shuts them down. They're literally afraid to offer any criticism of presidential policy because of how they're going to be treated. There's no question that's why. That was also predictable.